Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha HaMashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. Today is the 23rd, let me just make sure, it's the 23rd of February 2023. It's 10.56 a.m. And I'm going to do a trade recap on this crazy trade I had on, on um, ES. Um, this is the micro contract. Um, up here you can see it's MES 0323. Let me just pull that out there so you can see that right so that's up right up on the left corner right here let me change this color yeah so um this morning i had like a little a little technical difficulties with ninja trader and um i'm on this apex um funded account so today ninja traders um one minute um chart was actually lagging right so i didn't really notice that it was lagging so i was looking at bookmap and bookmap was um was showing a certain breakdown at a certain level which was i believe it was here right i was taking this breakdown right here and this this um this got filled all the way here so within the time frame of 9 35 like almost 9 40 it actually filled me at the price that that time frame was suggesting right or where it was at on the chart but it wasn't actually current time so i didn't know that you had to press f5 and i had to email support and you know they got back to me after a little while um that email support wasn't too wasn't too punctual you know, I mean, I didn't really like that about Apex there. They took a little while and I'm actually in a trade where I can, I can lose, you know what I'm saying? So I think that should be a little, um, a little quicker. So, um, so entered here, right? So it was lagging, but I was actually taking this breakdown right here. So let me just go to Ninja Trader. I mean, um, Bookmap. So I could show you where I was taking this breakdown and what my plan was for today. So right here I was taking this breakdown right here after this um wait. Well let me just start at the beginning, right? So at 930 we had this breakdown right here. Maybe I should use a better color than that. Um maybe yellow let's see right so we had this sell-off at at the open right here um some news came out i forgot what it was exactly um but the news came out so we had this selling um got to this level right here let's see ex approximately what that was so approximately 4020 right so we got to this 4020 level and then we we got some some buyers coming in and they shot up to like you see this this level right here um, let me just right point that out so that's my annual anchored vwap right so i was looking at the bullishness of of the eth and um i was thinking to myself it's supposed to be a main reversion trade because we're kind of on the outside of a two-day consolidation so I was looking for an area where I could get that um, resistance, right? And I was looking at this. This was one of my trades for a mean reversion entry, right? So I was looking for price to get up to this level. Also, I was looking uh, around, looking for around this levels right here, like value area high, overnight high. But we broke those before we even opened, so. I was looking for some higher levels here at value area at VWAP, annual anchored VWAP. So let's see here. Let me just make this a little bigger. Right, so you can see we started to have that sideways movement around having some resistance around this annual anchored VWAP level right here. Um, started moving sideways after this bullish run-up. 
um, from getting that support at 4020. So let, let's just follow the price action there real quick. 930. Had the sell off, hit 420, bounced up, and then we started to move sideways, right? So 955 moving sideways, 10 o'clock moving sideways. And not being able to break this um, this level right here at the annual anchored VWAP, right? So that VWAP is is anchored from the beginning of the year, right? So it's it's weighing volume weighted average price for the entire year, right? So it's a very significant level. So um, when we broke this um, VPOC level, all right, let me see if I can make that a little bigger. I hope you guys could see that that line is a purple line right there. Let me just point that out. Oh, you know what? Right, so that's that purple line right there. That's the session VPOC, right? Session volume profile VPOC. So when we broke that level right here, I waited for the retest and then I entered a short position right there, right? So that was my entry level right here. But it wasn't coinciding on Ninja Trader. So Ninja Trader um, entered me at 40.21.75, right? When price was actually up at 40.28. So I'm looking at the chart and I'm, I'm totally confused. Like I, I don't understand like how you could enter me in a trade like way way below you know what i'm saying so i i was just lost man i was like this is crazy man like what's going on with this like something's wrong you know what i'm saying but i couldn't figure out like like exactly what's wrong but i didn't even look at the time at the bottom of the chart right because i'm not i'm not um i'm not thinking that it's gonna be you know like i'm not looking at the time on the chart here to to make sure it's in sync like that's supposed to be a given you know what i'm saying so that that just threw me off man that just threw me off so i was trying to set um a stop loss it wouldn't accept the stop loss because it was saying that um prices prices above the stop loss and i have to set it above this um the price and i'm looking at it like but on on book map it's saying one price and over here it's saying another price so I don't know man, I was just I was just fighting to, to grasp what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So at that point I just um I set a stop loss like stop loss like way above price. But then eventually I just took the stop loss off. I sent the emails and stuff like that. Because I'm thinking, well, they're gonna have to reimburse that. Like if whatever problem is happening here, they're gonna have to reimburse it, right? So eventually when i got when i got everything together they sent the email and they told me to to hit f5 to reload so let me just show you where that is right here so when you hit f5 right here this reload right here it resets the chart but it didn't even reset the chart so i had to um log out and log back in and when i came back in then everything was um was actually in place so I had set a stop here before I logged out at um, 4,006.75, right? So as soon as I logged back in, it was back at this price here. So I actually got, got this target. So it was a successful trade after all this craziness because the price did actually break down. So it just entered me before this breakdown level, right? So... Let's see here. Go back to book map. Right, so after we broke VPOC, so it's a main reversion trade, we move down, move down, right? We hit 4017, had a little bounce back to 4022, right? Came back down here, we bounced at um, 4,017.25, came back up here again at 4,024, and now 
the this um trade trades counter session um puck that came down so this is this red line right here let me just point that out right so you see that red line so it's coming down it came down to this level right and um <clears throat> if price is moving down and these things come down like the the puck also came down to this level it's 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 pushing it's like a it's like pushing down on the price right because the price is moving bullish but this is suggesting that it's it's pushing down on the price so that's how i'm reading it right so when it does that i'm looking for price to start rejecting these levels here at this um trades counter puck and this um v puck level so we had some bunks on it right we we broke above it a little bit this v puck level came back up to this level right here with the trades counter puck we hit this high of 40.25 right and then we washed all the way down to let's see 4014 right so it's um a lot of kind of whipsaw action happening here we push back up to vwap vwap is this white line right here right so this is a crazy kind of trade man this v um vwap is that white line right there we had um resistance there made some lower highs this is the trace counter puck so we're break we're hitting that kind of like resistance with vwap let's see here and that's when we got the flush down here so you can see like um let's see where the puck level is the session v puck right so the session v puck is underneath this this red line as well right so if i highlight this it should nope not popping up right so it's right there with the trace counter um puck level so once it pulls down right suggesting that was too high and if price starts reacting here this is too high as well right so when it came down here test this level at um what was that four four thousand fourteen and then we retest this puck level right so we lost the pucks the the puck levels the v puck and the puck came down here retest this level right here right so retest this level right here and then we got the flush down little mini retest right there well at this point i'm i'm in the trade right now right so i'm 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 still holding on in the trade and you know trying to um get email response and all this and it's coming down to my level so let's see my target was 4006.75 so let's see where we hit here this was 4000 so i hit my target right here at 4006.75 right so i actually set my target above value area low right so it was just above value area low value area low was 4000 approximately 4005.25 so i set it just 4006.75 right so you know it, it's still moving down but it was a nice trade still it was the target was a nice target to get back to value area low because actually today um value area low i mean the money zone is in a lower value relationship so if it's if it had this bullish run up today right so let me just pull this back right now if we had this this is the thought process with this right so if we had this bullish run up up to this level here right and it's a mean reversion trade where we're in a two-day consolidation uh, in a downtrend and we pull up to these edges of resistance right i'm looking for price to fail and come back down to the value area low right so that was the concept there with with setting that target to coming back down right here right and even in this value area low um setup it's supposed to probably even move lower so it's no surprise that we actually get in um 
below value area low as well so all in all it was a it was a good setup it was a good trade um i survived the technical malfunction so ended up with a profitable day and um yeah that's my trade today man yeah, it's a survival trade after all these technical difficulties, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, this is Malak Shalomo, and y'all trade safe and stay blessed.